Hello, today I've got for you uh, this uh, Ford based uh, camper van. It's the Carabus 600 uh, MQ, uh, cost 71 and a half thousand euros, six meter long, 210 wide, uh, 187 uh, internal width. I like the Ford because of its height, it gives a more height than uh, other manufacturers inside and I think it makes a better design. That's my opinion, others may disagree. Uh, so width wise bed at the back, you see you've got a big um, flare at that side, storage all around. But the, what the advantage of the flare is it means you can either put your cushions up there, we'd have to probably put your, your pillows up there, I should say, and then you can stretch, it gives you more space to stretch out. You'd have to sit up in bed at that side because at this side there is a window. Note that the window has two uh, and two part blind in mosquito net. And uh, I personally prefer a one part one, but that's, that's just me and uh, there could be advantages from the two part one, which I can't think of at the moment. Well, I suppose you have me two separate systems. If one breaks, then the other one still might work. There you go, there's one. Uh, storage up here, nice big uh, skylight up there. That's very impressive. This one here also has got air conditioning in as well. Note that this air conditioning units only work on when you're on hookup. If you're not on hookup, they're not going to work. There are 12 volt ones now on the market, such as the Italian company Off uh, manufactures them. Anyway, good. So have a look in here. Uh, there is the washroom. Another advantage of the Ford washroom is that because it's higher, gives you more space inside. This one comes with three uh drainage points that's excellent uh what isn't so good is the fact that they are non-domestic size um so you are not going to find easily uh, a uh, net or something for them uh personally i can't stand these things at all i find that they just uh they stick to your body i mean this um can't see the point at all very much. That's me. If anybody can see the point, do let me know. Uh, there's your sink once more. It's got a small plug in it, but it does have here uh, storage, selection of plugs in there, and uh, in here as well. I noticed that there was a plugs there, three plugs for the shower. I don't know if anybody would actually use it in the shower. There's not a huge amount. It's not very deep. The shower tray. Um, there are some brands, and maybe not in motor, uh, camper vans, but in motorhomes you get these really deep ones, such as um, um, Illusion, uh, for example, or um, Ahorn as well. Uh, so you want to throw, have a, uh, well maybe not a bath, but you can paddle in the shower. Uh, Pointless this and this is a problem with this is the people who design these things never actually use them They don't realize that when as soon as you drive off anything and something like that is just gonna fall out and on the head of any of us sitting there uh, Storage there. Um, personally, I prefer not to have storage here low uh, with the Ford It does give much more room than the space in there than the Fiat does But it's still uh, you could get maybe a cover for the bed or something like that up there this one's on an automatic basis most people want automatic bits uh, these days uh, i appreciate that i don't but everybody else does uh, there's of course a choice of engines uh, sink two burners storage under here which is quite nice looking as well, that storage steps up to the bed. Um, if you're going to open this one here, effect, you have to take the steps out. Well, I suppose that's fair enough, it's a small vehicle. A uh, place to hang your coat up, up there. And here we come to this. What is the point of that? You know, it's just a complete and absolute waste of space. They could put a keypower system, an elastic system up there. And then at least that would have some benefit. There could be uh, maybe um, a slide across, something like that. But no, it's put, just wasted space. Pointless. 
Right, sit down here, open the fridge. There you go. That's what the fridge looks like. It's a Thetford fridge. And this one, it's a two way fridge, I mean, say it runs off 12 volts. Um, what it's not really two, two ways, not two way, it's one way because the, uh, the second way being 230, but it's not the 230 powers the battery to power the fridge in that, in that order. Um, good. There's a, a um, in the, up in the roof, a, a skylight. Let's have a look out here. Uh, right, it says here it's got electric soft closed. Let's see if it works. As a, if it's an option, I need to point out. It, may, it mightn't have that option. Yes, it does. In that case, it works. That's a, I've tried it three times today, and for the last it, at last, it actually worked. Um, that's what uh, Weinsberg calls... Yeah, I'll show you to make it point. There you go. Closed, cold bridge, optimalized insulation. There you go. There's no insulation in there whatsoever. Uh, right, so uh, there's a reasonable amount of storage in there. Now here, the gas, it's the uh, uh, medium canister. And, uh, but if you're just using it for cooking only, it'll, it'll be all right. Uh, the heating is via diesel. And once more, pointless, what, did, what is that? Uh, 102 litre water tank, uh, 95 litre wastewater tank. As an option, you can have the wastewater tank um, insulated and heated. Uh, now, today outside, well, today's got a bit warmer, but yesterday it was minus eight here, and I've actually, I let mine open. I don't like leaving it open, but I'd rather, uh, mine isn't, mine is insulated inside the vehicle, but uh, the, um, I think the water will get into the parts which are not insulated, so I leave, I leave it open. Uh, there's the, this window. Unfortunately, these things are not, not, not very secure. They say very, very easy to, it's a pity that. You can get systems though to actually protect them. Oh, and here, look, at this is a magnificent flare. As I showed, spoke from inside the vehicle, that really does extend the use of the, uh, the bedroom capacity. And it, because the, the wall's going slightly, it's not going up a great deal, like, for example, the Mercedes, it sort of really goes up a steep, at an angle. Um, this is more or less straight up, but not entirely. And that, uh, okay, it will stick out a bit if you take it down to the bottom, but when you consider you've got your window out as well then it's uh, less um, not windows what you call them mirrors sorry I'm feeling really tired I came to this trade fair um, full of energy to do things fortunately I got ill and uh, this is my poorer performance than usual this is the reason for it so thanks very much for watching hope you found that interesting and um, I uh, upload every day at 21.15. So if you're interested in motorhomes, camper vans, my journeys, places I've been to, this is the place to be. All the best from me. Bye from now.